Hey guys, this is I'm back. This is part two of the shooting game. I'm showing you how to make. Uh, you should watch part one first before watching part two. Okay, moving on. Uh, in the in part one, I showed you about the main character making it follow your mouse and all that setting lives and all that stuff. And in part two, I will show you the rem the remaining of the things you need to do. And if I did not already tell you in part one, you need to have a sprite that's nothing. All right. The reason it's called nothing is because it has nothing. It's a blank sprite. It doesn't have anything. So you do need you need to have this. This is a very important thing. You need to have a sprite called nothing. Uh, I guess you could just uh put delete instance also well also in your events but I just like to do this because it's <clears throat> uh first thing I learned I guess okay uh you already had the main character and for the enemy is pretty simple for all the enemies all the enemies you need to go ahead and add step events collision with walls start move uh I'll just go to enemy one first for the first enemy Add a step event. You need to move to. Yeah, you need to add move towards move towards u point x u point y. Uh, and then you also need to have a wall uh, collision. Two collision events. One of them is with wall. You need to put moving direction to zero. Uh, I mean to stop. Weapon one, for weapon one, you need to set the score relative to twenty. Check the relative box, and you need to change your instance into diamond. All right. So if when so the event is when uh enemy one is collided with weapon one, the score increases by twenty. Uh, the enemy one changes to diamond and perform events. You just put not. Okay, uh, going to wall, you put create, start moving direction, you put uh, none, you put stop. Uh, for weapon one, you need to change instance for collision events, each one with uh, the enemies. You need to cha change all of them to uh, the sprite nothing, alright? Change all of them to sprite nothing. Weapon two, add a step event, you need to um at a step event you need to uh get a move towards tab and then in here you need to put u x and u y uh when collided with u you need to put change instance to nothing okay uh enemy two you need to put when collided with when collided with um, weapon, it's the same thing for instance one, except that if you want to make the enemy uh, get you get more points, you could just set it to more points thirty. Step events, same thing. Move towards you. You could change the speed to make it more harder. For enemy three, it's the same thing. For enemy four, okay. Enemy four is a bit different because enemy four will actually shoot out the laser. And enemy two, and enemy three, and let enemy one will just move towards you and try to hit you. But enemy four will actually shoot out the laser. All right. So what you need is add a step event, add a chance, set the chance to anything. Uh, add start of a block, end of the block, and put create moving in there. The formula you need to put is the formula you need to put. Listen closely. Is point direction parentheses. Uh, what uh, you need to put, and then you need to put self x, and then self y, and then whatever your uh, main character sprite is, you need to put your main character sprite's name dot x, comma your main character sprite's name dot y. Parentheses, x y zero speed equals to any speed object. You need to put it as weapon two so it will shoot out. 
Same thing for all the other characters. You can set the score a bit higher to relative. Change instance, you change the diamond. Uh, collide with wall, you need to put moving direction to not yeah. And diamond. Diamond when it's collided with you, you change the instance to nothing. Alright. Uh, set the score relative to 50 relative make sure you click the relative box when it's collided with wall start moving in a speed of zero and for a nothing sprite you don't need to do anything so that's all you need to do it's pretty much the same thing for enemy 3, 2, and 1 except for 4 you need to add more stuff to a step event in rooms I created 4 room I created um, room 1 Room 2, you can add anything in there, so I'm not going to waste my time with that. And I'll show you what the game looks like at the end. So, I'm using my mouse right now. I, you, you can see my score up here, right here. I'll see my score right here. I have 3 lives and I have a 160 score. And after I do this, remember you can press in. So, I'm going to press in right now to go to the next room and the enemies will start shooting me uh, this is a pretty simple game <clears throat> and there's the enemy that will shoot you that will shoot me oh crap well, I just lost my own game <laughs> wow but I could it's kinda like a cheat that I could move and I'm going on to level 4 here's level 4 oh crap so much laser run away so yeah don't let the laser hit you or each time it hits you you will lose a life you can see my score up there again and oh crap ah uh, run away run away okay there i just beat my own game and if the laser hits me it starts over you can also add some it um game in stuff and you can add, also add a boss you can also add new new weapons you can also add turns you can add in anything you want you know so watch I will show you how I lose a life it's three right every time it hits me I lose a life okay so this is my tutorial if you're if you're having problems with this just post a comment and don't forget to rate and subscribe. Uh, thanks for watching.